Well, good afternoon to you. Things have been uh, building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead-up to this game. But as you can see on screen, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball, and the conditions in the moments heading up towards kickoff here are a long, long way from ideal. Heavy rain. The players, even as they leave the tunnel, very quickly looking bedraggled. And the pitch is going to become heavy very, very quickly. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be the same for both sides. And the game is underway in a moment or two from now. And this stadium, one of the leading modern buildings of Italian football, the Juventus Stadium. We rise now for the English national anthem. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4 3 3. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs. But if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. we go then Mings Sterling Trippier oh, has crossed the line and it's a throw Sterling Trippier drills one in, he's gone for it! What a wonderful goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. And time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. England go ahead, one goal to the good. Ekdal. Foden, and it's Kane. Sterling. It's gone a long way up and away. Trippier tries to stroke it through. And they've been given a corner. Ball. Forsberg 
Isak. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Kane he's set up one goal so far. We sit high. Gorgeous control there. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Stokes. Forsberg. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Larson, who's short. Played into the middle. Towering header! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Trippier, and it's Sterling. Mings. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Stones tries to get it forward quickly. Kyle Walker. Rice. Sterling. Managed to get it away. England have it back and they can go. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. He just whacks it away. He's in space and looking for options. Trippier. Gets it upfield. Larson. Battles to win it back. Sterling. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. And that's been leave it clear. And it's Lustig. Rice. And he's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football. But Robert still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Still a decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? England leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. England carrying a one-goal lead.
Larsen. Drilled in low. Well, that's a foul. Which side of the line is that? No, the referees judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Cleared without complication. So throw in. Walker, place it towards the front. Foden, plays it forward. He's found his man. It's Kane! Really well taken goal. And there's the goal they've been looking for. Well, those two have a lovely understanding, and they executed the 1-2 impeccably to set up the goal. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And it's Lusty. Here it comes. Gets into some space. He's got away. Oh, it's a mistimed tackle, and it is a penalty. England really could have done without this. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. It's hit the crossbar! Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Boots it to safety. Now it's Sterling. He could be in here. Big chance. Must be. Big chance. They are rampant. And they are cruising away. Sterling versus the keeper, and only one winner. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper, and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. England take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Means. Oh, good ball. Ekdal plays it out to the wing. Kleissen is demanding it out wide. Has a hit! And oh! Danger averted for now. Sweden are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Lustig. It's quite a run he's making here. He's left his man. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Walker knocks it away. 
Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? And it's Stones. And he's there to cut it out. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. England seem to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Now it's Kane. Tries to dink it in. Can he finish? And he's there to hoof it away. And he should have made it four. Cut out in the nick of time. He's through. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Keeper goes long. Aimed long and direct. And here's the chance to counter. Played out to the right. Cuts it out. Away from immediate danger. And that will be the final act. England a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match and if you can back that up with an early goal it just energizes everybody the whole performance